For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Warren Buffett has divested his entire stake of 6,100,000 shares in Snowflake, a company based in Bozeman, Montana, that specializes in data storage, processing, and analytics services. After benefiting from Snowflake's initial public offering in September of 2020, Buffett held onto his shares as they climbed to a peak of $405 each in October 2021, before losing about 68% of their value. This decision by Buffett has raised eyebrows in the investment community, as he is known for his long-term investment strategies and his ability to identify companies with strong growth potential. In June 2023, Frank Slootman, the chief executive officer of Snowflake, denied reports suggesting he was planning to retire. However, in February, he issued a disappointing product revenue forecast for the new fiscal year, which led to a significant 20% drop in Snowflake's stock value. This forecast was particularly concerning for investors, as it indicated potential struggles for the company in meeting its growth targets. Sridhar Ramaswamy, a former executive at Google, joined Snowflake in 2023 following the acquisition of his artificial intelligence-focused startup, Neva. Ramaswamy described a multi-stage approach to advancing Snowflake's artificial intelligence capabilities for its customers. The first phase involves synthesizing information through ChatGPT using Neva, which allows for more fluid and interactive conversations. Following this, the company is introducing Copilot, a tool designed to simplify the process of writing structured query language code, thereby providing quicker access to data. Ramaswamy concluded by stating, We are building out the capability to query data in real time, highlighting Snowflake's commitment to innovation and responsiveness to customer needs. While Ramaswamy is focused on long-term growth, he is not fixated on beating expectations and raising guidance every quarter. He expressed confidence in his leadership role, stating, I am comfortable as chief executive officer and am enjoying it. Drawing from his experience at Google, he noted, Google's advertising business grew at 36% year over year for 15 years. This long-term perspective is crucial in the fast-evolving tech landscape, where companies must adapt to rapid changes and emerging technologies. However, challenges remain as Wells Fargo downgraded Snowflake's stock rating from overweight to equal weight and lowered its price target by 35% from $200 to $130. Analysts highlighted that the narrative surrounding Snowflake has shifted significantly, indicating a more cautious outlook for the company. Increased competition from Databricks Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure, which all offer comprehensive solutions that threaten Snowflake's market share, adds to the pressure. Databricks in particular poses significant competition, with its data intelligence platform impacting Snowflake's market position and attracting customers who may have otherwise considered Snowflake's offerings. The competition for top artificial intelligence talent is intense, with Snowflake actively seeking to hire around 35 employees from Truera, a company that recently raised $25 million in funding. Ramaswamy mentioned the scarcity of individuals capable of training world-class foundation models, estimating that only a few hundred people possess such expertise. This pursuit of talent is essential for Snowflake as it develops its artificial intelligence capabilities and strives to maintain its competitive edge. Moreover, the threat of data breaches has led some customers to consider switching to Snowflake's competitors. In July, AT&T disclosed a data theft incident that affected nearly all its wireless customers, involving information stored on Snowflake's cloud platform. Although Snowflake clarified that the breaches were not due to flaws in its software or cloud platform, the incident caused initial stock declines and raised concerns among investors about customer retention. High-value accounts could potentially take their business elsewhere, as Wells Fargo analysts noted, that multiple breach-impacted customers have plans to move off of Snowflake. Expectations for Snowflake's near-term growth are modest, particularly as the company grapples with high semiconductor costs. Chief Financial Officer Mike Scarpelli acknowledged the headwinds associated with graphics processing unit-related expenses as the company invests in new artificial intelligence initiatives. This investment is crucial for Snowflake to remain competitive, but it also places pressure on margins in the short term. Investors may need to be patient for Snowflake's artificial intelligence strategy to yield significant results. William Blair analyst Jason Ader wrote in a report that Snowflake sits at a crossroads in its business. The company does not expect substantial contributions from most of its new artificial intelligence offerings until fiscal 2026 at the earliest. This timeline indicates that while Snowflake is positioning itself for future growth, it may face a near-term air pocket on top-line growth.
growth, as Wells Fargo analysts have pointed out. Furthermore, the Wells Fargo analysts have further reduced expectations by lowering their revenue and earnings estimates for 2026 and 2027. This cautious outlook underscores the challenges Snowflake faces in the competitive landscape. If Snowflake manages to exceed these lowered expectations and raises guidance, its shares could see an uptick. Otherwise, the analysts' predictions may prove accurate, leading to a more challenging environment for the company. In conclusion, Warren Buffett's decision to sell his entire stake in Snowflake reflects a significant shift in investor sentiment as the company navigates increased competition and challenges from data breaches and high costs. Despite these obstacles, Snowflake is focusing on enhancing its artificial intelligence capabilities and maintaining a long-term growth strategy. The company's leadership is committed to innovation, but investors should remain cautious as they monitor Snowflake's performance in the coming quarters. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.